Like walls. So entertaining to look at. Hello and welcome to Movie Freak Reviews. I am your host Don and we are going to be taking a look at a short film. Now, the short film we are going to be reviewing is Tickle. Directed by Corey Norman, which I have his picture right here, and written by his wife, Haley Norman, which I'll be showing her picture right here. So, awesome stuff. I give you both props for working together in the film industry. You never really hear of a husband and wife working together in the same industry, so I give you guys two thumbs up for that. So the first thing we're going to be doing is going over the characters in appearance in the film. So the first character we have is Trudy, who is the babysitter of Charlie. Trudy is played by Casey Turner, and Charlie is played by Andrew Lindaker. So those, they are, those are our first two characters in the film. Our third character, which is introduced later on in the film, is Donnie, who is played by Sean Carmichael or Scene Carmichael. I don't know how, I don't know which way you go by, but since I got it wrong, I do apologize. So, I do apologize, my friend. Uh, but last, but certainly not least, is the troll, which is the main bad guy in this short film, and that is Tic Tac. Not the breath mint. Played by Dennis J. Haley. So, the story goes like this. The babysitter and the kid. The kid doesn't want a bedtime story because he thinks he's too old. She's telling him not to grow up so fast because she'll be out of a job. And so it turns into a bedtime story that is real. So, this bedtime story goes like this. This, you know what? I'm not going to tell the story. I think Trudy can tell the story ten times better than I can. So, Trudy, take it away. They say that anyone who sleeps with their feet out from under the blankets should be warned. Now, legend has it that children should be wary of Tic Tac. Tic Tac is a troll. But he's no ordinary troll. You see, Tic Tac hides in the closet and waits for children to fall asleep. And then he creeps out and looks for feet that are sticking out from the blankets. And then he does them! Whew! That was actually pretty terrifying. But wait a minute. What if... My feet aren't ticklish. Oh, really? Well, do you know what happens when your feet aren't ticklish? What? Tic Tac takes them pulling off. Is anybody else terrified? So, the story unravels from there. I promised the director I would not show any spoiler alerts, so just so you know, if you want to see what happens to these two, you have to go and watch the film yourself. Sorry, I, I just get, I, I promised the director I wouldn't spoil anything. The only thing I said I was going to do, I was going to show Tic Tac. Not the breath mint. That guy. Pretty creepy. So now that I showed you that, you're going to want to watch the film now. So you need to go find find a way to watch the film. So what are you doing watching this video? Go, go, watch the film. Get off of YouTube, watch the film. Come on now. So now we are going to be going over the things that I liked about the film and the things that I didn't like about the film. Now there's only really one thing that's not really that I didn't like. I just... Thought could have been a little better, but that's just me. 
I'm just saying my personal opinion. That's what the whole point of this review is, my opinion only. Your opinion may be different. Your opinion may be this is the best movie ever, or this is the worst film ever. I don't know. That's up for you to decide. I'm saying that this film was good. So anyway, let's go over the pros of the film. The first thing I want to talk about is the acting. The acting was phenomenal. Trudy, the, uh, Casey Turner, she plays a phenomenal part of the babysitter. She plays it, makes it look believable. She makes it look like she's actually a babysitter. So I wouldn't be surprised if she was a babysitter when she was younger. So she may know the role. Uh, she may know the role pretty good. So you know what I mean. So anyway, Charlie, who is an, who's played by Andrew Lindaker, he plays a phenomenal part as well. You know, he actually makes you think that he is actually scared. And as far as I know, maybe they didn't tell him that the the troll was fake or whatever, and they just ran with it just to make him look scared. I don't know. But as scared as he looked in the film, it looked really believable. So I give you props for that, Andrew. You did a fantastic job there, buddy. And the third character I'm going to talk about is Donnie. You don't see him very much in the film. You only see him like the clip where Trudy calls him in the pizza shop. You see him for that little clip there, and you see him a little bit at the end, but that's really about it. But either way, he played the character perfectly. He played the boyfriend, you know, the worker at his job perfectly. Um, also, I wanted to throw in there uh, Daniel Noel, which is the pizza shop manager. He played a fantastic job, even though he only had a little line, which was like, Donnie, these pizzas aren't going to deliver themselves. That's all he really said, so. So, he did a good job. He made it look like that mean boss. He's just like, get back to work. Yeah, I don't pay you to uh, mess around and talk on the phone all day. Get back to work and deliver those doggone pizzas. Okay. I don't know if that's actually how he acts or not in the film. I just wanted to make up. I just wanted to make a little interesting part of the video. So, and then the final character we have is Tic Tac, played by Dennis J. Haley. He did a phenomenal job. He didn't say anything. He just did a little chuckle at the end of the film, um, which he did a fantastic job. He really made the creepiness in there, which, you know, the makeup effect of it was fantastic. It actually made you look like he was like some zombie or control or something. At least that's what I got out of it. Uh, I'll show the picture again. I mean, look at him. That, that's creepy. I'm going to I'm have nightmares just from looking at that. Thanks a lot, Corey. Thanks a lot. No, I'm just, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. Um, but yeah, he did a phenomenal job as well. Yeah, um, You know, he played that creepiness part off perfectly. And he gets two thumbs up. You know, him, him and Casey Turner and Andrew Lindaker all get two thumbs up from me. So, Sean, you get one thumbs up because you weren't really in the movie that much, but you're still a great actor. You were in the Hanover House. I'd never seen the Hanover House, but from the trailer, I, it looks like you did a fantastic job. So, I can't complain. So, anyway... So, the next thing I want to talk about is a little bit of comedy. There was a little bit of comedy in the first part of the film um, between Trudy and Aunt, uh, Charlie. So, that was really cool. I liked how, you know, she, he made fun of her for having her boyfriend come over. Uh, she made fun of his tidy whities You know, it was kind of funny. So, that, just that little clip there. So, a little bit of comedy. And... During the, and another thing I liked was uh, during the film uh, when she put on the first movie, it was uh, Natal, which was also written and directed by Corey Norman. Well, at least directed. I don't know about written, so it may have been written by written and directed by both. But all I know is it was directed by Corey Norman. So, so they had Natal playing. So I thought that was kind of unique. You know, having your old film in the new film. So that was pretty cool. And the last, but certainly not least, was the sickle that Tic Tac had. I never see that weapon too much in horror films, so I thought that was really cool. Um, definitely a unique twist. 
Now, how it did the damage is beyond me, but hey, horror films aren't supposed to make sense, so, oh well. So, anyway, and another thing I thought added to it, it's really not really not much of a deal, but it didn't have any curse words in it, and I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, it's just proof that you really don't need to swear to have a good film, so that's just proof, so whatever. So, anyways, that is the pros. Now on to the one con. The only... There really isn't a con. I just thought it was kind of weird. Was no one was ticklish. I mean, come on. I mean, somebody, one of them had to be. I mean, you would think that they would... Just, like, go into that area. Even though, the st I know a lot of you are probably going to argue with me and say that the story, when Trudy told the story, it was, you know, if you're ticklish, I'll just leave you alone. But, but if you, but she never expected it to be real, so it was just supposed to be a fake story to scare him. So, what would he have actually have done if their feet were ticklish? Would he have just left him alone? Would he have taken him back to his world and, you know, tortured him for the rest of their lives? What what would he have done? So, Corey, if you ever decide to make a sequel, if your wife ever decides to make write the screenplay for a sequel, add something like that. What he would have done if they are ticklish. So, I just about thought that would be a pretty interesting thing. But other than that, the film gets a 9.5 out of 10 for me. The film runs at approximately 12 minutes, and through that 12 minutes, a lot goes on. You think, I know a lot of people think that 12 minutes may not be a long time, but trust me, in this film, a lot happens in 12 minutes. And you really, it really doesn't feel like 12 minutes have passed. It feels a little longer, which I actually, which is not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing, so, those 12 minutes, awesome. So. My final thoughts of the movie Tickle. I, would, I read a couple reviews online, and I really do agree with this one from Cinema Craze. It says that the this movie plays out a lot like an episode of Tales from the Dark Side or Tales from the Crypt. So I really agree with that because it really feels like it could have been in an episode of like one of those types of TV shows or whatever. And, you know, it was fantastically done. Uh, the visuals look nice. The acting was phenomenal. The the editing was perfect. Corey, you did a good job editing it. Or whoever, or whoever edited it. I'm, I think it was Corey, but I could be wrong. But anyway, whoever edited it, you did a fantastic job. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Corey, I want to thank you for sending me a review copy of this movie. I want to apologize for, for being so late to, to do this, but... It's done now, and I hope you approve. So anyways, guys, until next time, keep watching.